Hi there YouTube, it is Joe uh, from South East London. It's Saturday morning. I've just got back from car boot sale. Um, had some good pickups, some, some interesting pickups, some things I've not had in a while, um, which I'll talk you through and show you in a minute. Also a few sales and some stuff I picked up. Uh, I think it was either Thursday or Friday from the charity shop. So I'll show you what I've, uh, what I've been doing and what I've been picking up. Uh, just another comment with regards to everybody who's been supporting me and sponsoring me on the marathon. Thank you so much for that. I can't actually reply to the, to the messages and to the things you put on the actual um, fundraising page, but I just want to say thank you to everybody. Um, yeah, anonymous donations, people who I sort of still don't know much about and all that, just still giving. So thank you. It's really kind and I really appreciate all that support. I've got my big 22 mile practice run tomorrow, so I'll let you know how that goes. But in the meantime, I'll just talk you through what I've been picking up. Um, start with the stuff I got from the charity shops and during the week. I got a couple of pairs of Merrill shoes. These are both £8. That's maybe sort of top end that I'd pay for them. But Merrill tend to do pretty well. They sell, should get about 30 quid back for these. These are Sprint Blasts, these ones. And these ones aren't quite such a popular style. These are called Motto, but they're in really good condition. So, yeah, 8 quid, maybe sort of slightly top end for those Um but yeah, hopefully you get about 25 to 30 back on those. And I also picked up another Sim 3 bundle. These weren't 20p this time like last time. They were um, 2 quid each. But it's got the base game. It's only got one of the stuffs. It's got design high-tech stuff, but then it's got more expansion packs. The expansion packs are slightly more desirable than the stuff uh, ones in my experience. Sort of university life goes for about 15 quid by itself. So yeah, I've listed all those, I think at 50, 50, 55 quid, 50 quid, something like that, just to try and shift them all in one go again. So I'll see how they do. But yeah, £2 each for those. So £14 spend, hopefully get about 50 back on that. Now, this morning I was actually at the boot sale and I was thinking I haven't picked up um, football shirts in ages um, and then one guy just had loads of them and there was a few people who were sort of trying to get at them as well so I had to almost just pick up what I could and yeah, I've done pretty well I think. This is an um, England 1990 football shirt. I don't know if anybody knows enough about this. This is It's got this Repli kit in here. I don't know if that means if it was a, like a remake at a later date or something. But yeah, so it's got the, it's all, it's genuine, but it's like, it's got this Umbro Repli kit in there. This shirt sells for about 50 quid actually. If, but I don't know about the, say, about that Repli kit, the, the ones which don't have that sell for about 50 quid. So that was great. And um, so yeah, so, so some really nice sort of football shirts and rugby shirts, all sort of circa 1990, 1992. I got the two, I got two Germany ones from the, yeah, say, the away and the home kit, and they're in really nice condition. All these shirts, so and these were all two pound fifty each. Well, they worked out two pound fifty each by the time he sort of did a bit of reduction on them. So yeah, really nice Germany one from the same, same tournament. So Leeds uh, rugby, rugby union top is this or. Yeah, Leeds rugby, rugby league, not rugby union. Sorry, rugby league top from again from about nineteen ninety. 394 I think I have looked some of these up already um, there's a Wigan one here a Wigan away kit remember Jason Robinson wearing this one France F France shirt again for about the same sort of time I mean they're all really nice shirts England Rugby League John Smith's one this goes for about yeah, about 15 to 20 quid um, this is like slightly different this is sort of like a training top uh, Leeds United Umbro sort of training top but I've done reasonably well on those sort of things in the past so I thought I'd pick that up as well and then a Napoli shirt um sort of vintage one again around sort of 19, 1990 sort of 1902 I think I don't know I need to double check that but yeah so they're all £2.50 each and I should do really well on some of them and if they if anybody knows about the replicate kit thing drop me a message that'd be really helpful I know there's some guys who specialize in football shirts on here that'd be really really appreciate that and I paid um Paid five quid for these. Now again, this is something I've not sold in the past, simply because I don't I don't really know the the situation with the product keys. It's got the discs in there and it's got the product key in there. I just don't know if you can reuse it. I mean, this sells for about hundred quid online, but again, it's a question of can I reuse the product keys or can you sell it as it is. So if anybody knows anything about that, that'd be really helpful. I mean, this one hasn't even got. This is just the the code in there, nothing more than that. So yeah, if anybody knows again what I could do with those, I have looked on the Microsoft sort of web pages and the forums and trying to t trying to follow it but there's sort of different things which are said there so if anybody knows if I'm allowed to sell those on and they can still be used on another computer that would be really great I'd really appreciate that so I'm not just asking you guys I have looked into it I have done a bit of research on it but yeah it'd be great if anybody knew about that so yeah it could be some really good money I might just sell them all together I, I don't really know but yeah I paid a fiver for the four of them so should be some good money in that 
um, picked up Ratchet and Clank Gladiator. This is probably the, this is one of the most val val um, valuable Ratchet ones by itself. But I've got uh, one, two, and three at the moment, so I'll stick this with it and have it as a bundle. One, two, three, and four. That'll probably increase the value of those. Um, Flight Simulator. That was 50p. Uh, 2004 one. That goes for about um, 12 quid. And Dawn of War. Um, Soul, Soul Storm uh, expansion that goes for about 12 quid as well so yeah that's quite a nice pickup that was 50p also got this Laurel and Hardy the complete collection box set um, it's never been watched it's mint inside it's not it's not sealed inside because it, it wasn't sealed like that but that, yeah none of the DVDs have been watched as far as I can tell and I paid 10 pounds for that and that sells for about about 30 pounds yeah maybe even a bit more so that was good and the first thing I picked up, and I said the first thing I picked up um, at the boot sale, I'd, I'd list and less the profit I'd just um, put onto my sponsorship page for the charity which I work for was this, um, it was this Xbox uh, 360, it was, it's the Xbox 360 which comes with the Kinect. It's got the Kinect sense bar and it's got the black controller. Unfortunately someone's taken out the, um, the internal memory on it, which is slight, uh, well the memory you can remove on it which is slightly irritating but um, yeah two controllers one which has never been used it's still got its plastic stickers on it the connect bar connect game and that was 20 quid so I thought you know even the sense bar and the controllers and all the rest of it were worth more than that even if the machine didn't work but it works works perfectly so yeah I'll I might do that as an auction I'll, I'll see but yeah I'll put that on so just get that get rid of that and then say the profit will go to to GYFC on that one so yeah some good pickups really i say if the football shirts i'll do really well on and i will this sort of stuff i mean if anybody says has got any information about this stuff that would be greatly appreciated so yeah i'll see how i get on with those in regards to sales yesterday again a pretty good day um sold this pair of converse for 15 quid with free shipping uh, i got rid of these had these on at 30 quid they didn't sell so just knocked them down to 27 quid and they sold these uh Nike Air Force One high tops, so 27 quid with free postage. This Batman I only picked up the other day, got 6.95 for that. I paid 95p for it with free postage, so nice bit of profit. Uh, Mario and Yoshi. Um, it's actually it's, it's, like, it's almost like a bit of a puzzle game, like a Tetris game. It's not actually as exciting as it sounds, in my opinion, that game. Well, to play, I don't think. Um, but yes, yeah, so I did all right with that. Got five quid back on that one. Is a pair of diesel flagix jeans which i say are highlighted as not being a particularly popular style again had them on at 30 quid didn't sell so knocked them down to 27 quid and they have sold uh risk this risk is it's got one at the purple set of um men in there is still sealed but got 20 quid back on that um, and that's going to romania signed for delivery and i sold my last bundle of the five skylanders for 25 quid so that's all three of those bundles i've sold this week so i made 40 quid profit on those three bundles which was great and they've sold and the last thing i sold was i actually had an auction running i don't do auctions people ask me do i do buy it now or auctions i do sort of 99 percent 98 percent of what i sell is is as um buy it nows but i do do auctions occasionally when it's stuff that i just i don't really have the time or the energy to want to sort of part out and this is a um it's a bundle of sort of uh, Game Boy, DS, Advanced, SP in there, and then some Pokemon games. The Pokemon games were the draw, really. And I paid, I paid 80 quid for this bundle. Um, I didn't read the description 100% fully on it. I didn't realise that some of these games were just the boxes, which was slightly irritating, but I paid 80 quid for it. I got 60, 61 quid for this in here. I sold um, Pokemon Heart Gold earlier for uh, for sort of 38 quid last weekend. So that's sort of 100 quid, 100 quid, less the postage. I'm about where I should need to be. And I took out um, one Game Boy game and two Pokemon original Game Boy games, blue and red. So there's about 30, 35 quid in those. So... Yeah, there was perhaps not as much money in the bundle as I'd hoped because I'd misread the um, listing and didn't realise that some of the games were just the boxes. But still, yeah, still pretty reasonable amount of money in that. So, yeah, pretty pleased with that. And it was easy sales. So that's the sort of thing that occasionally I will do as an auction. Just something I, it's just too much sort of energy and hassle to sort of work out exactly what it what it is you've got in there. Um, but I basically just copied the person's listing, which I bought, edited it and took out the bits which I hadn't. Um, which I'd taken out and so it's quite quick to list the only thing I'd, I'd say um, about bundles if you're going to do these sort of bundles putting in a couple of um, I don't know what you call it like carrots or gems in there so a couple of games that make the rest of it appealable is, is a quite a good way of doing it and I tend to do that whenever I sell bundles you know put one or two good games in there and then put all the sort of fodder stuff in there with it and that sort of draw people's eyes to it and it will draw people's bids in hopefully so yeah I'm not not a brilliant sale but not a bad one 
So yeah, that's my Saturday. Um, off to the post office now. I did have a guy yesterday message me say, um, if he bought a pair of jeans on Friday, on Friday, um, would I be able to get them to him on Saturday? And I said it was doubtful considering Friday was a bank holiday, but he was, he was like, oh, sorry, I didn't realise that. But yeah, I don't know, expect me to be a miracle worker or something. But yeah, that's my Saturday. I hope everyone's doing all right. I hope people's sales are going well. I'm going to wrap and pack this stuff up, get down to the yeah, post office this morning, maybe pop into the charity shops and see if there's anything in there. But yeah, the weather looks like it's turning pretty bad now for the weekend and the bank holiday, which is a shame because there's quite a, there's a couple of big boot sales down here. But I say I'm busy anyway on the Sunday, but we'll see come Monday if I'll pop out and get anything then. Anyway, that's my weekend. Cheers, guys. Hope you have a good one. I hope you had some good pickups if you've been out and I hope your sales are going well. Cheers. Bye.